You're listening to a message from Maranatha Church of Jacksonville. For more information, please visit our website, maranathajax.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Encounters with Jesus. This is Kevin. We are looking at Mark 1, 35 through 38. This is an encounter that Jesus had in prayer. And so I want to read this chapter here, read these verses and talk about it. So here we go. Mark 1, 35. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, went out and made his way to a solitary place. And there he was praying. Simon and his companions searched for him. And when they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, let's go on to the neighboring villages so that I may preach there too. This is why I have come. And so in this encounter, we see that Jesus encounters the Father. He goes into a time of prayer, into a time of solitude, and prays. And then we do see an encounter with Simon and the other some of the other disciples came and searched for him. They were looking for him, and they encountered him in a time of prayer, which right there, you can imagine that scene where Simon and his companions see Jesus praying to the Father, which there's a couple incidents where they find him praying, which right there would would tell you something about, uh, you know, them seeing Jesus in that time of prayer, how important it is to pray. And so that's what I want to talk about right now is how important it is to stay in a time of prayer. And so we see this father-son time here where the father and the son are having this exchange in prayer. Right before this verse, we see that Jesus is in these parts of Galilee and Capernaum where he's doing really intense ministry, where it says that he heals the sick. There was demon-possessed people, uh, many people that had diseases, and he healed all them. And that was before verse 35. And so then verse 35 says that, you know, in the, in the morning, he went out and prayed. And then you see that there's people still looking for him because Jesus is awesome and people want to know where he is and he's doing all his miracles. So people are hungry for that. And so then right after this scene in verse 39 in in the end of chapter one, we see more intense ministry where there's uh, once again, people that need his help and a man of leprosy that, that needs to be cleansed. And Jesus shows compassion on this man to clean him and to forgive him. And so in between uh, those two stories, there's this scene right here that I just read about Jesus early in the morning praying and going into a time of solitude. And so Jesus, we see in this first chapter of Mark, we see a lot of things happening where Jesus is encountering lots of different people. I like this scene because it shows that Jesus needs and wants really that time alone with the Father, where he wants to spend that time in solitude where he wants to get away from um, the busyness, get away from the demands of others and just spend time with the Father. He just wanted to go there and and return to this place of relationship with the Father, one-on-one time. And I, I believe it is also a time where he spent recharging so that he could go and be effective um, to those around him. And so Jesus got away with the Father so that he could return to others with this same power and compassion of the Father, which is what we as well need to do. We see an example of Jesus doing this, and we, in our busyness in life, uh, we need to get away with the Lord. Kind of like what I mentioned about last week in that uh, episode about Martha and Mary and sitting before the Lord in prayer and how it's so important for us to do that as well. And so in this time of prayer, Jesus does encounter the disciples that come to him and kind of almost like interrupt his time. But he doesn't, you know, get angry at them. Hey, I'm praying, step away. But he realizes that there's people that need him and he and he's moved with compassion. And he says, all right, let's 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 go on to these neighboring villages so that I might preach there too. And then he says this phrase here, this is why I have come. And so Jesus knew exactly his purpose of what he was doing here, what he was called to do. And I believe that purpose came through these times of prayer. And so for us, I believe that purpose is first felt and understood in these times of prayer encounters that we have with the Father. We see Jesus doing this, and I'm so drawn to doing this myself. When I see Jesus going alone with the Father, 
I'm drawn in my heart, man, I want to, I want to get alone with the father as well. I want to have that time where me and God are with each other and he can share things with me that I'm not distracted by other things. I'm just focused in on his voice, focused in on his love for me. And through that time of just basking in his love as, as a father, just enjoying that time, I feel my purpose rising up and I feel this mission rising up. And it's from this place of intimacy and love with God that I can go and do things uh, for God outside of those moments when there are uh, the demands that that I see in ministry where there's people needing things. But I, I can work and not get burned out because I spend time with the Father alone and He loves me and I realize that and I realize my purpose in those times. So for us, uh, I encourage you to do that, to encounter the Father in those times alone where he gives you his his love for you, he he speaks to you, and he recharges you so that you can go out and do what he is calling you to do so that you can recognize your purpose. So I love this short little scene. Uh, sometimes it might get overlooked, but it's real, real uh, powerful scene where we see Jesus encountering the Father, the Father encountering him, and then Jesus is able to go and encounter more and more people still. So, Lord, we thank you for your ministry to us, Lord. We thank you, God, that you love us, you care for us so much, that you have compassion on us, Lord. We first know how to have compassion on other people because you have compassion on us. You first loved us. That's why we're able to love other people, Lord. And so help us, Lord. Encourage us. Draw our hearts into a time of, of intimacy with you, Lord, with solitude with you. Draw us away from the busyness, Lord, and get and capture our attention once again. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.